All right, I've been holding off on this one for long enough. Let's open up the posters that I got for Christmas. Hey guys, Jeremy here with another Red Bubble poster review. Now these are actually all gifts from my brother for Christmas. I admittedly wanted to do this very soon after getting these for Christmas, but I wanted to spread it out a little bit, uh, still getting used to the new place. At the same time also, I had just done the video for the gifts that I got for friends off of Redbubble. And I realized that there are times where I will post something about Redbubble and then I'll totally not do anything for sometimes a year. I realized that there was almost two years. I think there was two years uh, gap in between my Redbubble reviews. And I would like to try and be a little more consistent, but at the same time also be kind of money conscious at the same time. There are a few posters here that are going to uh, take down and remove some of the ones on the wall here. So we've got a few. The first one here is one you guys actually might have seen already. This one's actually quite uh, noticeable. Some of you may have seen this because uh, it was making quite a bit of uh, rounds at the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. This is Parasite. I will have this on the floor because there's probably a lot of glare going on right now, but this is fantastic detail. I love the symmetry of it. It captures the theme of the film so entirely well. Um, it even, technically speaking, I could have this either way. That is dope. I could actually have this poster up whichever way I want. I could have it with the Rich family on the top, or I could have it with the Trickster family on the top. That is cool. I didn't actually notice that detail until just now, but that is fantastic attention to detail when it comes to making a fan poster. And at the time of the recordings for these, I actually do not know who made these, any of these posters that are here. I'm gonna have to get to my brother on that one, but rest assured, I'll obviously have the links for these posters in the description below. At the very end of the video, I'll also probably make a note about who's who once I figure out who made these, but this is fantastic, I love it. Now, number two, ah, this one, admittedly, it's actually going to replace Deckard right here, where my hand is, but uh, it's pretty good. I, I think this is fantastic. This is a Blade Runner. I really like this one. It's very, um, it's very harkened to the day. It just shows the world. It doesn't really talk about the story. It doesn't even have any sort of uh, note to what story is. It's just showing off what the world, what the supposed future was going to be. And this is fantastic, actually. The, the level of detail in this thing is extraordinary. Look at that. Look at that. That's nuts. I, uh, Shiva, Atari. Cinco at the top here. Nah, that's really good. I, I very much like that. Again, it's not so much based on the story, but it's just showing the world and you gotta appreciate the absolute crazy level of detail. He's even got the rain on top of the, the umbrellas there. That's nuts. And then the last one here, this one I'm very happy to have because admittedly I've actually wanted a poster for this movie for quite some time. It's Into the Spider-Verse. And you could actually have it either way. I guess, because that is him falling. But the advertisements really had it like this. It harkens back to the mug in the bag that I got on the last Redbubble order. So this is really great. Miles looks fantastic. There's even a little bit of chrome abrasion along his knees, along his head. Uh, it's kind of got that digitized look. So it really is very, very akin to that of what the art style of the film was. Even kind of the, the sketch detail on the city, too. It's kind of phasing, I guess you would call it. Damn, it makes me want to play the Miles Morales game again. Oh, I love it. This is great. I can't wait to put this one up on the wall, too. And those are my latest Redbubble posters to talk about. Thank you so much, bro, for getting me those for Christmas. I cannot wait to have the inner dilemma of which one I take off the wall here. It admittedly makes it a little bit more difficult now that I've got uh, Dark Knight in the corner here, which, funny enough, I actually haven't talked about this thing at all. And there's a story behind this thing. This thing is from a movie gallery that was doing the DVD sales for this movie back in 2009. Okay, I really should talk about that in a different video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. The links to each of these posters is in the description below, so if you guys wanna go check those out, make sure you do. I wanna give the credit as credit is due for these artists because they do fantastic work. And if you're interested, go and find them yourself and go and buy them because it's great to support these guys. These guys make great work on this website. In the end, thank you Redbubble for being a store that we can get media like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I'll see you next time when I talk about that.
that. There we go. That's a proper way to point. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.